Well team, just under a year ago, I published my very first application to the Google Play Store called Palette. And it has been such a blast to see the app grow and evolve over time to the point where it now has over 250,000 downloads and over 45,000 active users. And now after over six months of development, I'm so excited to finally announce that my second ever application has just gone live on the Google Play Store. The app is called Shelf and where Palette was for curating home screen setups, Shelf is for curating applications themselves. And the whole purpose of this app came about because after featuring probably over a thousand different applications on my channel over the past six or seven years, it was getting to the point where people would be asking me, why haven't you featured this application or why haven't you featured that application? And the truthful answer was, I already had about three years ago. And so I wanted to develop an app that could act as an ever growing library of applications that I personally recommend. So that rather than having to sift through my entire library of top Android app videos to find any given app, now you can just use the application to find them even faster. But of course, I didn't just wanna have that be the only functionality. I wanted to grow a new community of application enthusiasts. And so of course, I decided to implement a bunch of other user-based features as well to make the app even more useful and hopefully more fun to use. And so with all of that being said, for today's video, I wanted to walk you through the entire application whilst also providing you with some insight into how it was made to hopefully help maximize your use of it. Oh, and a huge shout out to Fiverr who have not only sponsored this video, but have also partnered with me in making the entire application. I pitched them the idea of this app back in February, and here we are in September, and they've been patient as anything, allowing me to make sure that the app was fully complete before making a video about it. I've placed links to all of the various Fiverr freelancers I used throughout this project below, who I'll also be mentioning throughout this video. But with that being said, let's take a deep dive into my second ever application, Shelf. All right, so when we first launched the app, the first thing you'll see is this super impressive splash screen animation, which looks amazing. And this was made by our first Fiverr freelancer named Alex. And he's actually a level two seller. No joke, this guy makes some seriously gorgeous animations in a huge variety of styles. So when he agreed to work on this project, I was super, super excited. And for anyone wondering about the name Shelf and what that has to do with the app, well, I actually see the app as my shelf of recommended applications. Does that make sense? Oh, and there's also another tie-in, the great bit of functionality called application shelves, but we'll come back to that a little later on. And another shout out also needs to go to Junaid from Just New Designs, who actually designed the shelf application icon itself, which I am seriously a huge fan of. And he and his team also make a ton of other really impressive icon packs, many of which I've featured on the channel in the past as well. So I highly recommend checking out their Play Store page, which I've of course left a link to down below as well. But this splash screen animation here is actually a part of our onboarding screens. And as we swipe through here, you'll see that these all have this amazing liquid based animation to it, along with all of these really cool animated icons at the top. And before I get too far into the video, I do also need to give the biggest of all shout outs to the main developer behind this application, who is also the main developer of Palette, Junaid. I've worked with Junaid for over a year now, improving my other application palette. And he also agreed to work on this brand new application as well. And as always, he's been a true joy to work with. And as you'll see throughout this video, he's also done some absolutely top shelf work here in regards to the implementation of this application. But once we get to the end of our onboarding pages, we can hit this tick button here. And once this cool yellow swipe animation completes, we'll then be taken to our login page. And as you can see, we've got all the options here, including an email sign-in option and a guest browsing mode as well. Although trust me when I say, you'll probably wanna sign up with an account to make the most of all the app has to offer. So I'm gonna sign in using my Gmail account for the time being. And from here, you'll get your first glimpse at the app's main interface, which in my opinion has a really gorgeous design. For this app, I actually really wanted to hire a third party designer to design the app from scratch. And after sifting through a huge range of designers on Fiverr, I actually ended up going with a pro Fiverr designer who goes by the name UI Shohid. I basically sent him a detailed brief of the app's concept, along with a long list of app UI inspirations I'd found. Within a few days, he'd already sent me the first mock-ups, and then after providing him with some feedback, he delivered the final mock-ups about a week later. 
And I've got to say, after designing my other application palette myself, I was actually so happy with the decision to use a third party designer for shelf because he came up with a unique and ultra modern design that I absolutely could not have come up with myself. But back to the home screen, and this is where you'll find a list of the most recent applications that have been featured on the channel, along with this beautiful category slider up the top here that has this beautiful animation whenever you tap on one of these categories. And you can also tap on see all here to see every single application category. And we can then tap on, let's say, personalization, for example. And there we go. There is a complete list of every single personalization application I've ever featured on the channel. Now I say every single app I've ever featured, but do keep in mind that the apps featured within Shelf are limited to those available on the Google Play Store. Otherwise, there can be issues with Shelf even being available on the Play Store itself. But I just wanted to mention that in case you were looking for a specific app, but couldn't find it. But let's go back to the homepage here for a minute. And also up the top, you'll find this little notification icon, which when tapped will show you your notifications page. And then back on the homepage and up here on the right, you'll find this user icon. And when you tap this, this will open up a search interface for searching for other users signed up to the app. But we'll come back to this a little later on. So back on our homepage and let's now tap on one of these applications here. And as you can see, it has this beautiful opening animation that I am seriously in love with. And hopefully you can tell that animations and overall fluidity was one of my top priorities when implementing this app. Too often you come across apps that have incredible designs, but with pretty basic animations. But I think animations can make a huge impact on a user's experience. I actually want to give a shout out to another Fiverr developer here named Ali Rizwan, who was instrumental in helping to come up with some of the animations you'll see throughout the interface. Although his actual coding work wasn't actually used in the end as we decided to switch to the Kotlin coding structure instead of Flutter, which is what we were originally using but I still highly recommend working with him if you're making an application that uses the Flutter coding language. In fact, while we're on the topic, let me take a quick moment to specifically give some love to the sponsor of this video, Fiverr. As I've mentioned many times, I relied heavily on the Fiverr platform, not only for the creation of this application, but also for the creation of my other application, Palette. And I actually created two in-depth videos showcasing the entire process of working with different developers from Fiverr to create Palette. So I'll link both of those videos below if you're interested in checking them out. But Fiverr doesn't just offer app development services, they also have freelancers for video editing, graphic design, digital marketing, online tutoring, you name it, they've probably got jobs for it. And all you do is hop onto their website, search for whatever job you're looking to get completed, let's say logo design, then you just sift through the many freelancers offering that service, pick one you like, and away you go. In fact, I also used Fiverr to create the channel banners for both my main and my shorts YouTube channels. I've also used them for logo design in the past. And the great thing is that they have prices that meet all sorts of budgets. So to start getting your own jobs completed, or perhaps if you're someone who wants to instead sign up to Fiverr as a freelancer and start selling your own services, make sure you check out the first link down below to get started. And once again, a huge thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. All right. Back to shelf, and once we've tapped on an application here, we'll be taken to what is called our app details page. And this is where you can see everything you need to know about any given app, including who the developer is, along with some screenshots at the bottom. But you'll also see this button here that says watch feature episode. And when we tap on that, we're actually taken to the feature episode page, which actually shows the video that the selected application was originally featured in from my channel. So you can of course watch the video itself if you like without leaving the app or see information about the video below that. But what I really love is that you can also tap this button down the bottom here to open this new credit card style interface, which you can actually swipe through to see all of the other apps that were also featured in that same video. How cool is that? And then I can tap on any of these applications and open up its app details page. And so hopefully you're starting to see the whole concept of this application come together, which has a direct link to the various top Android apps videos on my channel. Now, before we leave our app details page, you might've noticed this button here that says reviews. And when we tap on that, we'll actually be taken to an in-app review page for whatever app we have open. Now, let me be clear. Any reviews found on this page are actually provided by users of Shelf. They are in no way connected to the reviews from the Google Play Store. And the idea behind this feature is that you will hopefully be able to see authentic and really useful reviews written by other app enthusiasts to get a better idea of whether the app is one you want to download. 
So for example, I'll tap on add review here and give this app a five star rating. And then I'll just write something unique about the app to help give other users an insight into the app before they potentially download it themselves. I'll hit submit and there you go. There's my review for this particular application. But the big reason for adding this feature is that there are usually hundreds, if not thousands of reviews on the Play Store itself for every single application, a lot of which are often just complaining about unnecessary aspects of the app. And so hopefully the shelf review system will help you to see more insightful commentary on the apps in question. All right, let's come back home now. And another cool feature is that we can actually long press any of our app cards to favorite any given application. And then not only does this show this neat little heart animation when you do so, but it also provides you with haptic feedback at the same time, which I love. All of our favorited apps will appear here on our favorites page. And then we can also navigate over to the search page to find any specific app we might be looking for. And we can of course also filter these searches by latest, oldest, or most popular. And then the final page is our profile page, but stick around because one of my favorite features of the entire app is found within this page. But firstly, at the top of our profile page, you can obviously see an overview of your follow account, as well as how many apps you've reviewed within Shelf. And there's of course an option up the top here to sign out of the app, which I'm not gonna do right now. Or we can of course edit our profile if need be. And there's also another shortcut here to search for users within the app. But then below that, you'll find this curation section, which is where things get super interesting. So we have a shortcut here to our favorites and also a shortcut to all of our app ratings on the far right. But in the middle here is this shortcut to what is called our shelves. And this is the big tie in with the name of the app itself. And so if we tap on this, it'll open the application shelf section, which is where we can actually create different lists of applications under different headings. You can see I already have a bunch of shelves on my page, including one for customization, one for productivity apps and so forth. And if we tap on any of these, it'll reveal a list of apps that I've added neatly laid out in this folder style interface. So let's tap this yellow plus icon button down the bottom here to add a new shelf. We'll give this one a name and call it cool apps just for the sake of this video. Then with that done, we'll tap the plus button here. And this is where we can add any application from shelf onto this particular list of apps. So I'll just select a few random apps here just for the purposes of this video. And then I'll tap the back button and there we go. They're added to that list. But what's really cool is that you can also add any application from the Google Play Store to your shelves, even if they've never been featured on my channel before. You just tap this text down here, then paste the URL of your app from the Google Play Store. So I'll paste in this one I prepared earlier, then hit add app and that'll automatically add that app to my list. Once I've added all of my own apps, I can then select a list color and then tap on create list. And once that completes, my brand new shelf will be added to the top of the list. And also how cool was that animation as well? Seriously beautiful. I can then open any of my lists and tap to edit them if need be or delete them altogether. So let's delete this one as an example. And I can of course also tap any of these icons within my lists. And if the app is available within shelf, then it'll open its respective app details page. But if any of the apps were custom added, then it'll simply redirect to the Play Store page for that app, which I think is really cool. And if that wasn't already impressive enough, you can then also go to any user's profile page and see their application shelves as well. So if you're interested in seeing what apps others use, then you can of course do that as well. And again, the whole idea with this application is to basically act as a way for app enthusiasts to not only discover new applications, but to also share their own recommendations as well. Now that's it for the app's main functionality, but real quick, I do also wanna show you that there is indeed dark mode support, which will just follow your system theme at the time of making this video, but we're gonna be adding a toggle for this to be manually changed within a future update, so keep an eye out for that. Oh, and before I forget, if you are using a phone running Android 12 or later, then you'll also be able to enjoy this fancy animated launch icon whenever you open the app without it already running in the background. I'm obsessed with how cool this is and totally think that every application should implement this for their own apps. And so there you have it. That is my application shelf. And if you wanna check it out and start exploring and curating your own lists of applications, then I've left a link down below to where you can check it out. And I know some of you might be wondering why you have to pay to download the app. And I'm just gonna be completely honest with you to hopefully provide a little bit of insight. 
So my first application palette was available nearly completely for free, except for one feature for about the first seven or so months of the app being live. But after having such a huge database of users downloading a huge amount of data each day, all of which was stored on our Google Firebase server, there were two consecutive months where I had to fork out huge bills that cost me about more than triple the amount I'd ever made from the app. We're talking huge, huge dollars. As a result, I had to act fast and pay my development team to switch the palette server over to a custom, but far more affordable server. But the damage was done and I am still very much so in the red with that app. As a result, I've had to add in-app advertisements to the app as well as make a few originally free features paid to try and help recoup the costs. But with Shelf, I wanted to keep things simple. You pay one fairly affordable price to purchase the app and that's it. No ads, no premium locked features, you just use the app with no restrictions. And I know this is totally gonna stifle how many users are willing to use the app at all, but I hope that you appreciate that app development is a huge undertaking and running apps like Shelf and Palette take a lot of time and effort. And so I'm hoping that you are happy to pay a very small amount to not only enjoy using the app, but also to help support me and the channel. Once again, a huge thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check them out using the first link down in the description below. But aside from that, thank you all very much for watching and I will catch you later.